Okay, everybody, so I'm getting together a position for my camera. <laughs> so today, in this beautiful little video, I want to talk about um, venting. And I want to talk especially about creating a list um, of things that you like and love about people who you may have hurt, sadness, or upset towards. Um, people who you may have previously felt angry or hurt um, against or with. So, lots of us I've noticed in my life have baggage and hurt and wounds towards family, parents, ex-lovers or partners, and potentially even friends or brothers or sisters. People who have hurt us basically and people who may have been abusive towards us or really let us down and shocked, surprised us or even rejected us and abandoned us. So I was just doing, I was just doing some exercise and now I feel like doing a video. So one thing that's helped me in my life is creating a list in my mind. I don't even bother to write it down because even when you do it in your consciousness, you will be having an energetic shift cellularly and within your aura field and chakras. So thought is extremely powerful and the way we look towards or think about people. But before we shift to the love and light, everybody, I honestly do feel we often need to vent and let out our pain and hurt. And just people like friends who we can trust um, people who are conscious and hold space receptively. Um, people to hold a space of, so, of healing and who will listen without judgment and even offer their love, support, suggestions, guidance, as well as just to purely simply listen without any judgment towards us. So this is what I do in my life. I do a whole lot of venting, but I just want to draw the difference. There's two different types of venting. They're both forms of expression of and a release of emotion and thoughts and our experience, which we share with another person. There's the conscious empowering healing type, which where we tell our story and our experience to someone who's conscious and holds space. Okay, but we do it from an empowering perspective, which you're not. The unconscious version is when you're criticizing other people, you're moaning and groaning, basically criticizing them and being really negative for a very long time. And you're basically, it's laced with victimhood, storyhood. You're acting like the victim. It's like, this is who I am, me and my poor little story. That is very disempowering everyone. That doesn't empower you to move forward in life. You have to just simply let out the energy, the energy in motion, emotion, like opening a tap, a faucet, and you let it all out of your system. So crying is very helpful. Um, and just simply talking and someone listening to hold a healing space is very healing. So we discharge her, um, without destruction in harmony, pain and hurt, and for me, definitely like crying. Even look at the children, actually. Children are always very good teachers, everyone. So are animals. Sometimes children, when they have a tantrum, that's a huge release of emotion. So even... <laughs> I'll just be honest with you and vulnerable, okay? <laughs> I was copying children the other day. I was like, I was going around the streets. And I had some crying, some tears in public. And I'm not afraid of that anymore. And I was even doing what children do. <laughs> I was doing this stuff. <laughs> Hey, man. <laughs> so, <laughs> just making a live video. <laughs> so, like, I was doing that stuff, everyone. I have to say, it really helps. Like, it's like, it's like shoving, shoveling, and shoving the emotions out of you. And I have to. It's very helpful. <laughs> Steve James says, "Hello, brother. Looking good. Keeping you. Thank you very much, Steve. Lots of love and." I hope you understand my Jesus jokes the other day on Facebook. It's like people call me Jesus like regularly. Even today, children said, he looks like Jesus. Or, or you look like 
Lord Jesus. And I'm like, I know, I, people say it to me regularly. <laughs> and yeah, nice little child, the blonde hair, school child. So thanks everyone for watching. So I want to encourage you all, like, don't be afraid of your emotions. Don't be afraid of crying. Don't be afraid of crying in public. Like I looked people straight in the eye recently, walking in the streets, feeling like a bit alone, hollow, empty, hurt. Some pain from a dash of hopes. A certain sense of rejection and abandonment. And some pain from my past as well, all together coming up. I'm feeling way better today, Nori, as you can see um, from this video. Thank you. Nori, something like that. Hi, Fergan. Nice to have, have everybody join me. Feel welcome to leave any comments, anybody. So um, I'm going to try to go hands free. So um, I'm walking down the streets, you know, watery eyed, and a little bit of tear. And for me, vulnerability and authenticity is the name of the game. And I just looked at a woman at the bus stop, eye to eye, walking by, she could see it. I don't care, who cares, man? Why are we all acting like fucking, like, why are we all acting like we're not? People are pretenders. We, I, I am, I have been a pretender. I still am to some degree. I'm trying not to be, though. I want to extend my honesty and truth and vulnerability and authenticity. I want to like, into me see is intimacy, into me see. I want to be intimate with people. I want to be intimate with myself. I want to be intimate with strangers on the street, even in the coffee shop, same thing. Like, I dropped two big tears today. Boom, boom. And that was, it only just came and went with less than five minutes. The last three days have been harder than that. Yesterday was better than the day before. The day before was better than the previous day before that. So it's getting better, you know. Um, hi, Sandy. <laughs> Thanks, Teal, for, or not Teal, Nori, for saying you're beautiful. Thank you with the heart. Thank you. I appreciate that. You're all, you're lovely too, everybody. Um, so this video is about like authenticity and vulnerability and expressing your emotions. And it's about venting. You have to vent and let it to pain everyone. Look at the children. Like the children and the animals will like do something physical. Like so the children will have a tantrum. They'll scream and I encourage screaming, but not like obviously in the middle of a shopping centre or on the street. But I do encourage crying almost anywhere, especially if it's safe. Like just look I wish we could all just cry together in public more. Like why not? We'd validate each other and we'd support each other in our healing by allowing ourselves to let out emotion. We'd validate emotion and hurt and pain and we'd allow the expression and then we'd all be much more healed because so many of us are bottling things up, everybody. When I was in school, like the teacher at the end of the year report said, Owen oh, seems like a lovely child or he is a lovely child, but he bottles up his emotions. So it's something that I don't want to do anymore. And I haven't been for many years, but to be honest, I have to a degree and I want to do it less and less. So now I've come to the point where I'm allowed, I'm able and I allow myself to shed tears or cry in public. Um, so now we're going to move on, okay, to like making a list in your mind or even on writing towards the people who have hurt you, abused you, abandoned you, rejected you or caused you pain or hurt in any way for whatever reason. I've done this this year towards people. So Sandy says, courageous to be vulnerable. Yeah, yeah, kind of, to a degree. You're accepting yourself and loving yourself to be vulnerable. And you're letting go of a fear of other people's opinions um, to allow yourself to be vulnerable also. So, Yeah, Emily says, I complete, Nori says, yes, yes, yes. Emily says, I completely agree on, crying is a release, a beautiful thing. <laughs> Nori today is super emotional. Okay, Nori, Nori, just let yourself be, you know that. And it's normal everyone everyone is like emotional actually with all the, the cosmic full moons and eclipses and mercury retrogrades there's been lo loads of breakup of relationships seriously hardcore so this year has been my hardest year as a conscious adult since i've been 24 so in the last 11 years since i started my awakening it's been the hardest toughest year for me it's had the most heartbreak the most shock and surprise, 
the most hurt, pain, and letting out and healing I've done in my conscious life. It's been the biggest one of letdown and rejection and abandonment, okay, um, from my ex girlfriend. Um, yeah, that's been a pretty tough one. Um, it's, it's been, not only has been the hardest and most expansive and growth year for me, and stepping into me and my manhood and being a man and a conscious, grown up, secure adult. It's not only been the hardest, it's been the best year of my conscious life. Possibly even you could say, in many ways, the best of my life. So it's been a very mixed year. I've, I've gone on the seat of my pants, I've rolled with the, with the punches, and I've rolled with on the edge of my seat with life synchronicities and callings pulling me forward to different places and different people. I've made the best friends and the most friends in my life. Conscious, loving, empowered, beautiful souls, soul, soul contracts and soul family. Malakai says, hello Owen. <laughs> hello Malakai. And Nori, sorry it's been a rough week, but trust you're gonna get by this. Trust you and I send you love. You're, you're doing great and I'm proud of you. Nina says, good, nice job Owen, good work. Thanks Nina. <laughs> My mum is watching from the, the neighboring room. It's, like, it's funny. Hi man. <laughs> so weird, funny. I love my mum, playful. Laurie says, hi, hey. And Emily says, I'm going to come to Ireland and sweep you off your feet. <laughs> sweep you off your feet. Emily, I like your funniness, playfulness, love, humor, seriousness, affection, warmth, funniness. <laughs> Thank you, I love you all. Uh, thanks, Noree. Thank you so much, so much love. Thanks for loving my spirit. And Heather, thanks for being proud of me. Yeah, everyone, I just want to say, like, we're a community right now, you know? Like, I, just want to, I want us all to feel a bit more of a sense of community right now. Like, right now we're all watching together, you know? And I'm talking. I just wanted us to feel into the sense of belonging and community together. And I want us all to make more friends in our real physical life so we can have more community and support and love. That's one of, that's one of my main intentions right now. I'm back in Ireland. I came yesterday. I was in London before that for a week, connecting and disconnecting with a girl who I felt was my new hope. She's a lovely girl, I can't criticise her or blame her, she's just beautiful and I don't know what else to say about that, things somehow didn't work out. And I take responsibility for my part, 100%. I just wish her all the best and um, I wish my ex who had a, have a baby with, you know, two and a half month old baby in Canada, I wish her all the best, you know, just beautiful spirits. We're all different soul contracts, the big people in our life, you know? And uh, I don't have any hard feelings, like I don't. I have a loving heart towards these gorgeous women and my men friends too. <laughs> so, Melissa Keller says, Hi there, Owen. Love your gentle, sweet spirit. Thanks, Melissa. Love your gentle, sweet spirit too. <laughs> it takes one to know on everybody. <laughs> Carla says, Hi, Owen. You are love and love. Oh, love and love. Two loves. Double love. <laughs> Huggles, Huggy, Huggles from Nori and Nina says owns mum rocks. Yeah, my, my mum is my mum is a superstar. That's what Nina says. My mum, my mum is like just amazing. Honestly, I don't know what to say about that. Probably the best, closest person I've ever had in my life. She's a super soul contract. I just respect and love her so much. So everyone, getting back to making a list. <clears throat> Think about the people who've hurt you. Speak, speak out the pain and the hurt and the bad stuff that they've done to you, to your friends who listen, and do it without being a victim. Do a lot of that. Let us some pain, hurt, shakes, cries, screams, in a place that's safe and appropriate, okay? Crying in public is okay, but not like screaming your head off and you get arrested by the police. <laughs> Citizen arrest. <laughs> Malachi asked me how many children do I have. I only have one, two and a half month year old kid, baby girl, beautiful, sweet. She got the best of me and the best of the mother looks wise. She's a very good looking. <laughs> I'm just saying, this is a bit of a joke. She's a healthy two and a half year old, beautiful girl. So then you make a list, everyone. What do you like, love, and appreciate about the people who've hurt you? Don't be a victim and take responsibility for your actions, behavior, choices, and mistakes. Take responsibility, move forward, and learn. Okay, that's what you want to do from the venting and then from the positive list. 
the positive list will make you open your heart and feel more love towards these people. It'll help you to let go of the hurt and pain that's been mixed with this relationship. And do know, like you've probably caused them hurt and pain too, to a certain degree. It depends who it is. Like you have and you haven't. Maybe they're way worse than you. Some people are narcissists, abuse, abusive and controlling and manipulative and deceptive and they lie. And maybe we don't. Or maybe we've done some of that. So just like forgive everybody. Forgive yourself and forgive those people. Um, so like... What I want to do, and I, I, I suggest everybody that does in life, let go of your baggage because it hurts you and it bogs you down. It blocks you from going forward in life and having, having the best health, career, purpose, passion, calling, um, abundance, money, romantic relationships, attracting a soulmate, etc., 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 and having inner peace and having a happy, joyful life of lightness and playfulness and fun, laughter and jokes and humor and just being healthy and happy so yeah that's I, I, that's probably what I'm going to say does anyone have any questions everybody and thanks for being part of this group call it's like it's lovely to like talk to you all and connect and to feel the love shared in the room this cyber room it's really beautiful I have to say I do like Facebook a lot like I love Facebook I love social media I love the internet I love YouTube it just it's such a beautiful way for me personally to express myself to share and receive love and to make friends and even romantic partners to be honest like you know that's everything it's like everything good i just don't listen to a whole lot of like down stuff on facebook or social media i use it to empower and uplift and to help myself in life so <laughs> thanks for saying i'm a lovely soul and great and Thank you for having thank you for having this live video. My pleasure. Thank you, Nori. So everyone, um, does anyone have any questions or comments? Otherwise I'm probably gonna go. But I thank you all for watching. <laughs> it's been a pleasure and joy, so thank you. And I, I, I wanna say everyone I'm proud of you and keep going forward in life. Life doesn't go backwards, it goes forwards. Take responsibility. It let out your emotions consciously. Make loving friends who are supportive and conscious help you together in the community. This is vital. Make friends. When you meet someone you really like, share, get their phone number or give them your card or something like that. It's essential to have community. It's very joyful and loving to have community. Thank you, Nori, for saying you, this has helped you, helped you. I'm really glad. So thanks for that. I appreciate that. I'm really, really glad. Thanks, Heather, for saying I'm a dear soul. Everyone in this group is dear soul as well. Love you all. <laughs> We're all special. Everyone's lovely and beautiful, you know. Yeah. So when you can make a list of positive things you like about your, your enemies or the people who've hurt you, I swear to God, you're going to feel so much better. You have to do that, everyone. Try to do it, okay? Megan says, community. Yeah. Sometimes our family aren't here to be conscious and loving, so we have to make friends, everybody. That's where we get the love from. And that's where, if we can be more non-sexually, physically intimate, like touching, kissing, playing, holding, um, linking up non-sexually, of course, with friends, then it will fulfill us and we won't jump into wrong relationships to get this non-sexual physical intimacy. All right. So everyone, thanks for watching. I'll see you again another time, okay? Um, thanks for all your comments. Thanks for all the love. Love you, love you as well, everybody. And thanks for watching. Like just, it's, a, it's, a, it's an honor and blessing and gift that you spend your time watching me, you know, just another person. So, But I do love myself and I value myself. So I'm not putting myself down. You are lovely people too. So just keep going forward and never give up. Set boundaries and follow your joy and your truth. And speak your truth and don't wait too long to speak your truth if possible too all right stefania stefania thank you for the big big hug thanks emily for the love thanks nina thanks nori okay bye everyone have a lovely day see you another time